One of the fundamental concepts in understanding the world around us is understanding our own perspective. Everyone has their own perspective, or as physicists call it, a reference frame. When a reference frame starts moving, the relative motion of objects can be hard to discern. For example, if you turn a curve while driving a car, it will feel like a force is pushing you outwards. This effect is known as centrifugation. We are used to this effect from the reference frame of our own bodies, but its underlying mechanism becomes clear when seen through a different perspective. Let's imagine you can pass through solid objects. When the car turns the curve, a camera strapped to the car will see you being pushed to the left. When seen from above, this motion makes a little more sense. Your body is moving in a straight line before the curve, so it wants to continue moving in a straight line after the car starts turning under it. And so the car turns, your body continues moving in a straight line, and it looks like from the car's perspective, like you're going to the left. Though in real life, we are attached to the car through the seat and the seat belt. Here, the dummy's hips are attached to the car. It turns with the car while the upper body tries to continue that straight line path. Centrifugation can feel uncomfortable and lead to safety hazards when curves are too tight. To solve this problem, civil engineers bank roads to certain angles in order to cancel out centrifugation. Banked roads effectively cancel the outwards acceleration of the centrifugal effect by leveraging the force of gravity. When the forces are combined, the net result points straight into the seat, and thus, you don't feel the centrifugation. If you're familiar with NASCAR, you may have noticed that the bank angle of curves gets steeper towards the outer edges. To understand why this happens, let's add smaller curves to our model. If all the cars complete a lap in the same amount of time, we say these cars have the same angular velocity, denoted by the symbol omega. As you can see, the car in the outermost lane has to move much quicker than the innermost car to complete a lap at the same time. In fact, their straight line velocity increases linearly with their distance from the center. By looking at a cross-section of this model, we can add up the forces to understand what's going on here. Gravity remains the same wherever you are, it is independent of the car's position. The angular velocity omega is constant and also the same for every car as they are in solid body rotation. By using the centrifugal force formula, mR omega squared, we can calculate the centrifugal force. With it, we can see that as the radius of the cars increase, so does the centrifugation. For you to not feel any sideways pull in these cars, the sum of the forces have to point straight into the road. The road shape that accommodates for this is a paraboloid, which is a three-dimensional parabola. What is cool about this thought experiment is that it can be replicated in real life. The experiment shown here is called Newton's bucket. It works in the same way as the cars do. The water is being rotated at a constant angular velocity and so wants to be centrifuged out, but gravity pulls it back in, which forms a paraboloid on the surface. Rotational dynamics are extremely important in understanding our own world. While being in part responsible for geophysical phenomena such as wind, ocean currents, and even the magnetism of Earth, it can be understood through applied thought and analog experiments. If you're interested in diving deeper into the math and physics behind these phenomena, additional resources will be linked in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay curious.